evidence of the damage termites can do to a home. Room after room has been destroyed, leaving a family with no option but to move out. The whole house has just been eaten away, eaten away. Can you get them off me? No, you just got to walk around. Can you please get them off me? You've never seen anything like it. Equal to a Cecil B. DeMille movie, a plague in biblical proportions. Hell for those who have to live in it. It's devastating, it really is. It makes you feel sick. And not a care. What does mean right now, to get it? For the one who can do something about it. They have been asking, they have been begging you for some oh, yeah, time yeah, for this yeah, problem yeah. to be fixed. Yeah, yeah. They're not wealthy people, they're battlers. Yeah, I know. You won't believe what's lurking in the children's wardrobe. This was my daughter's bedroom, as you can see. Oh um, my God. We had a building inspection done and he told us to get her out of here. Quick smart. Hiding behind the winter clothes in the little girl's cupboard was the sort of termite nest you see in outback Australia. You know, all the holes in the wall that they're pushing through. The whole wall's full so of that's them. just oozing out? Yep. None of these PowerPoints work. There's no electricity. So they've eaten all the cable, all the wiring's been eaten in Yep. Oh my God. They've eaten the cupboards and built nests in those low-lying, not-so-often-used places. The family would shovel it out, but it kept coming and coming and coming. House is falling apart. Yeah. God. And that's in all the skirting and architraves yep. and everything all right the around the house. A mother at wit's end and a father frustrated. Oh. Look where they come from. And Look. kids watching their family falling apart. She's having a real hard time and putting a lot of pressure on her and stress. Tell Christian to come up here and look at it. Christian doesn't come, so we go to Christian Bowers. So you're admitting there are termites in there? Yeah, sure. The landlord with not a care in the world. Can I take you over there and show you what's inside the cupboards? Yes, I know. There's, there's mounds like this. Yes, I know. People we can't have them live here like well. that. In, in 2012, sprayed, people sprayed cannot live like that, my time. friend. Yeah, OK. They should move out. We had an electrician come and he said the whole house would have to be rewired and the owner said, there's no way in the world I'm going to pay for that. Jody, how do you feel when, you, you know, I mean, you've got young children and when the, the electricity's been, the cables have been eaten through? I was very scared, nice. very scared, because we can't have an ele uh, the safety switch on at all because um, it shuts the power off. All the time? Yeah, every hour or so the power just turns off. And... Um, it's no way to live, is it? No, you can't. I think there's maybe two working power points in this part of the house here. There's one working PowerPoint out in the back room, in my room. Sure, the house wasn't flash, but when they moved in, it appeared clean and was what these battlers could afford. It was a home and it had a pool. But then, like a Hollywood horror movie, it became a home possessed. It started to ooze brown gunk from the walls. The timber work was beginning to reveal strange build-ups of a dirt-like substance. Light fittings were falling down, the timber unable to hold them up any longer. And most frightening of all, stuff was coming out of the power points. And with such force, they were breaking away from the wall. Could it get any worse? You bet. When they looked behind and underneath their few possessions, the true horror of it all came to life. Termite mounds were gluing their possessions to the house. Total termite turmoil. He just says get out, more or less. Drew and his family struggled and saved up $440 to get a pest and building report. So I tried to do all the right things. In a desperate effort to convince Bowers to listen to someone else since he was ignoring them. The tenants are to cease living in this dwelling until all vermin, pests and insects are eradicated for health reasons to the tenants. You know, I won't mind paying the proper money for the proper house, mate, you know what I mean? He wasn't prepared to fix it at all. How can you take money from people and let them live like that? The power cords are being eaten through. Yeah. 
You don't have a problem with that? No. You don't I think it's know. a fire hazard? No. You don't either. think that the young children in there yes. could be harmed in any way when the electricity is playing up like that? No. You don't have a problem with that? No. Just Here's what will like make you up. as Look, angry as me. He's not short of a bob, this bloke. He owns not only the house, but this huge nursery. The one with the smiley faces out front. Yeah, it's all happy in here and bloody miserable in the adjoining house next door where every dollar counts. A horrible person doing this to us and, and he's going to do it to someone else. Yep, you won't believe what Boas plans to do next. He's actually already got it in the paper before we've ever moved out. A rimba three bedroom house with a pool, bright gardens, one dog is okay and renovated. All he'll do is spack through all that, paint it over and when they walk into the house to have a look at it next Thursday, it'll be yeah. oh, all freshly painted. And you'll get the next person. And you'll get the next person. Broken in spirit and wallet from fighting. You just can't live like this. No, it's not at all. They're moving out and into Jody's mother's home. And let me tell you, next time, if I see that another young family has moved into that fire trap of yours, then I yeah. shall be here once again yeah, okay. with my cameras, Good. and we'll make sure that no you're not, Good. and we'll make sure that you're not renting out another house, another fire hazard to another young family. Okay. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Okay.